Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 3. We are going to see binary, parallel, adder and subtractor. Right? We are going to see about a circuit which performs both addition and as well as subtraction. Right? In previous video, we have seen only the design of adders. Right? How the addition operations takes place. Right? And we have also seen what is subtractors, how the subtractors works in previous videos, okay, right? And this video is about how a single circuit can work both as an adder and subtractor. That is what we are going to see, right? So, we will see about binary, parallel, adder and subtractor, right? And before going to the design of this binary, parallel, adder and subtractor, I would like to refresh the topics which we have seen in unit 1. Right. In binary subtraction, right. And what is binary subtraction? That is if you have minus sign, that is signed subtraction, what you will do normally. Right. If there is a minus sign, what you will do? We will take two's complement of it. Right. You will take two's complement of it. Right. That is the complement of that one. Correct. That is the complement of that one. And we will add. That is if, the, if it is the circuit is A minus B. You know what is A plus B, right? And A minus B, we need to subtract A and B, right? So, for this one, what we can do is, we can do this expression is equal to this particular expression, A plus B bar, right? That is, right, instead of doing A minus B, we can take the complement of B and we can able to add it here, correct? Right? So, that is, that is also a subtraction, right? Right. So, that is, you remember this particular expression, A minus B is equal to A plus B complement. Okay. And now, we will see the design of binary, parallel, adder and subtractor, right? As I said before, this is very important circuit where it performs both addition and as well as subtraction, right? But it will not be done in the same time, right? Either it will perform addition or it will perform a subtraction, right? So, how is that it is possible? How it is achieved, right? We can see this is the circuit, right? And we have four, this is a four bit, four bit parallel adder and subtractor, okay? So, what we have done is we have combined four full adders. You can see we have combined four full adders, right? And you know what is the working of full adder, right? How is, how is the full adder will work? Full adder will have three inputs, correct? It will have three inputs and it produces one output, correct? That is, output will be two. That is sum and carry. You can see if it, any full adder, if you take, you get three, one, two, and three input and one, out, that is uh, one output and one carry, right? Right. So, this is one, two, three inputs again and two outputs, correct? So, it is three input and two outputs, correct? So, that is about the normal full adder works, right? Now, what is the design of parallel adder subtractor, right? You can see in parallel adder subtractor, right, you have two inputs, that is A and B, right? And very importantly, you have a control signal, that is M, right? M is a control signal and if M is equal to 0 and M is equal to 1, right? So, the addition and subtraction will take place based upon the M input, okay? That is, if M is equal to 0, then it performs addition, right? And if M is equal to 1, then it performs subtraction, right? So, how, how the circuit will understand we have to do addition, we have to do subtraction. Very simple, right? So, you can see here, it is designed in such a way that we have an XR gate, right? That is, M and the B input is combined in the XR gate, right? And that is given as a single input for FA, that is full adder. And one input is directly given, that is A, right? And now you have to understand for the one full adder, what you have to do? We are giving input, one input directly and one input that is combined with XR, combined with the control signal M and B, right? And it is given as another input. And the same M input is given as a carry, the third input, right? As I said, for a full adder to work, you need three inputs, correct? Right? A, B and carry, right? So, the M is also given as a carry input. For only for the first adder, this is given as a carry, 
right? M is also given as a carry, right? And after that, this particular carry, that is the carry out, that is we know that some, the full adder can produce some and carry, right? So this carry of, of this particular first adder, carry out of this first adder will be considered as an input for this full adder, correct? Like that, this carry will be considered as an input for this one. This carry will be considered as this one, right? So only for this first full order, the third input carry is obtained from M, right? So far you understand one particular thing, that is in this particular design, you have three inputs, that is the control signal, right? That is combined with the B input, that is it is used in XR and is given as one input and A is given directly and C is another input, right? And then it produces two output, one is sum and carry. Clear so far? Right. And now, as I said, M is equal to 0 and Fm is equal to 1. If it is 0, it performs addition and if it is 1, it performs subtraction. Right. So, how the circuit will understand that, right? So, how will it will understand? Now, listen, it, it is based upon the truth table of this particular XR, right? This XR gate, based upon the truth table of this XR gate, the full adder will understand whether it performs addition or subtraction, right? So, now, Listen, right? That is addition subtraction in the sense both the things that is every time the full adder will perform addition, but in this particular concept, right? If it adds A plus B, then it is it is understood that it is the normal addition, right? And if it's going to add A plus B complement, then it is subtraction. That is the logic. Okay. Now you see here, as I said, based upon the control signal truth table table of that particular XR gate, right, this particular parallel adder subtractor works, right, so you can see here, if the input is M, right, if the input is M, M is equal to 0 and M is equal to 1, 0, what it will do and the M, what it will do, it performs addition and this performs subtraction, right, and that's because if M is equal to 0, the output of the XR will be the same as the B input, right? Why is that? What, you, what is that you are doing? You, you are doing, listen, you are doing M. This is M and this is B, right? And you are giving at this to the XR gate, right? So, the output, this one, the output of this XR gate, right? If M is equal to 0, the output of the XR gate will be B, right? So, it will be B. Right. If the M is equal to 1, the XR gate will produce the output will be B complement. That is the truth table. Right. You got to understand that if M is equal to 0, this particular operation will be same as like that, the B. Right. If M is equal to 1, it will produce B complement. Right. And that is what I have explained here. If it is 0, that is M is equal to 0, that is B I, that is B, B input. Right. B A plus 0, then the output will be B I. It will be same like B I. Right? In the input in Gurukuryo, that is B input on the M0 for add one up in it will produce the same one. Right? And similarly, if M is equal to 1, right? In this case, the B, what you will get is the complement of B you will get. Right? And now you understand, right? That is A is directly given and another input is obtained from this XR gate. Correct? Right? If XR gate is B, then what it will do? It will perform A plus B, correct? That is addition, right? And if it is B complement, what it will do? It will, it will perform A plus B complement, that is subtraction operation, correct? You understand now, right? Now you, you go back to this particular diagram, you can see here, right? If M is equal to 0, what is the output? The output will be B, correct? It will be B naught, same, right? So what the output, the sum will produce A naught plus B naught. Correct? Right. If M is equal to 1, what will happen? If M is equal to 1, what will happen? The extra output will be B naught complement. Right? So, what will be the output? The output will be A naught plus B naught complement, which is nothing but subtraction. Right? This is the logic behind binary parallel adder and subtractor. Right? All you have to understand this particular operation, if M is equal to 0, right, it will be same like that of the B. If M is equal to 1, it will produce B complement, right? And then it will be add with A plus B and A plus B complement, okay? 
using this you get problems as well right if if, if the question is asked like this uh, add two three bit numbers using parallel adder and subtractor right so what you will do first you understand right it is a three bit so what i have done is i have taken only three full adders okay and now you understand here it is given as a is equal to 100 and b is equal to 011 correct so it is a not a1 and a2 correct right and you can also consider this way right a not this is a not and consider this way a not consider as a not is equal to 0 this one and a1 is equal to 1 and a2 is equal to 1 sorry a1 is equal to 0 correct 0 0 1 similarly b how will you consider b b not is equal to 0 sorry b not is equal to 1 like this one and I consider B1 is equal to 1 and B2, B2 is equal to 0, right? So, we have to add these two numbers, correct? Right, that is, if this input is given, what will be the output? That is the question, right? So, now, what have happened? This, this is nothing but, right, and in 4 to 1, it is 4, correct? A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 3, correct? So, if it is addition, what you will get? 4 plus 3, we have to get 7, correct? And if it is subtraction, what you will get? You will get 1, right? You can write it, you can put it manually or you can directly write in this particular value, right? Now, I substitute the values here, right? So, it is A naught, A naught is 0, right? And, right, I will just complete this A first. A naught is 0 and A1 is 0, right? And here, A2 is 1. Similarly, B0. B0 value is 1. And B1 value is 1. And B2 value is 0. Right? Now, consider M is equal to 0. Right? M is equal to 0. What I said, if M is equal to 0, it performs addition. Correct? It performs addition. How it performs addition? Now, listen. A input is directly given here. That is 0. It is given directly here. Right? And B input it is combined with, with M. M is equal to 0 here. Right? And what we have said? Right? Here, M into X bar. XR into B. Right? M is equal to 0. Then output will be same like that of B. Right? So, what will be the output here? The output is B. Right? Same like that of B. So, it is 1. Correct? You understand or not? Right, I am using the same logic. If m is equal to 0, right, it will produce the same value of b. Right, if m is equal to 1, it will produce b complement. So, in this condition, I am considering only m is equal to 0. So, whatever value in the b, it will be the output of the xr. Right, so it is 1, 0. Right, and initially it is 0. Right, so carry is also 0 here. C0 is also 0 here. Right, now you add this one. Right, what will be that? 1 plus 0 plus 0. Right. What is the output of S naught? That is equal to 1. Correct? 1 plus 0 plus 0. Right? And there is no carry. That is, this is no carry here. Right? And this is given as input here. Right? And what is the output of this full adder? This is 0. And A1 is 0. Right? And M is equal to 0. So, what will be, what will be the output? What will be the output here? Right? What will be the output? That is, it will be same like B. So, it is 1. Right? So, if you add 1 plus 0 plus 0, even here, S1 is equal to 1. Correct? And now, C2 is also 0. Correct? There is no carry. Right? And similarly here, the input is 1. And M is equal to 0. So, the output will be same like that of B. So, I am putting it as 0. Right? And so, 0 plus 1 plus 0, what will be the output? That is 1. Right? So, now, what is the output you are getting? S0 is 1, S1 is 1, and S2 is 1, right? Which is nothing but 4 to 1, that is equal to 4, 6, and 7, right? So, this is the addition operation. As I said, if M is equal to 0, right? If you add 4 plus 3, what do you have to get? You have 7, and you are getting the same output, correct? You got it? Right, and similarly now, what I will do is, I will put M is equal to 1, 
if m is equal to 1, right, what will be do? What I will do? I will have the same expression, right? A is equal to 1, double 0. And B is equal to, B is equal to 0, double 1. So, write, write it here. So, m is equal to, m is considered as equal to 1. And if m is equal to 1, it will perform subtraction operation, right? So, I will first substitute the a values here. a naught is 0 and a1 is 0, right? And a2 is 1, right? Similarly, b naught is 1, b1 is 1 and b naught is 0, correct? Right? Now, you substitute the values here. So, it is 0 directly. And if it is m is equal to 1, you will get the complement of this one, right? The complement of b. Here, b is equal to 1. So, what is the complement? That is 0. Correct? And what is the input here? m is equal to 1. So, the input is 1 here. Correct? Right? So, now what is the output? 0 plus 0 plus 1. That is equal to 1. And no carry. You understand, right? Now, this second, second adder, this is 0. And m is equal to 1. So, the complement of b1. What is b1? 1. So, what is the complement? That is 0. Right? And there is no carry here. So, this is 0. Right? So, 0 plus 0 plus 0. It is 0. Correct? And no carry here. So, that is 0. Right? In third adder, this is 1 input. Right? And b, that is m is equal to 1. So, what, what do you do? You take the complement of this one. So, this one is 1. Right? And this carry is 0. Right? So, what do you get? 1 plus 1 plus 0. Right? So, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is nothing but 0 and the carry is 1. Right? So, the output of the carry is 1 here. Right? So, here this is the sum. Right? So, what is this? We already know that A minus B. Correct? That is 4 minus 3 that is equal to 1. Right? And what is that we have obtained? We have obtained 0, 0, 1. Right? That is equal to 1. Correct? We have already performed A plus B. That is 7. Right? We got 1, 1, 1. And A minus B, we got 1. And that is, we got 0, 0, 1. So, the same circuit is used as an adder and as well as subtractor depending upon M is equal to 0 and M is equal to 1. Right? So, this is an, another important question. So, today what we have seen is we have seen the logic behind binary, parallel, adder and subtractor. Correct? Right? So, all very simple logic is you got to understand there is a control signal which is M. Right? So, if it is M is equal to 0, it performs addition and if M is equal to 1, it performs subtraction. Subtraction is nothing but it performs the addition using complement. Correct? So, if you understand the logic, you can write and you can also solve problems, right? Thank you, students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, you will be useful. Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.